Well, hey folks, Nord Stream 2 in Russian Boogaloo. Uh, let's talk about it for a minute here. Uh, there have been up to four explosions and an official declaration of sabotage on the Nord Stream pipeline. This is interesting given that uh, things have been escalating for a while, but more interesting in the perspective of the Great Reset, right? Now, if you hadn't heard, uh, just very recently, I believe within the past week or so, may have been a little bit longer because my time, uh, since the time's a little off, given that I, I really have had no days off uh, in the past month, but uh, the one of the largest food distribution plants in f France was on fire, oddly enough. Now, again, I don't know what you guys know about industrial plant fires and uh, food distribution sites burning down and all of that over, I don't know, the course of your lifetimes. But it's not been something that I've heard reported too commonly often in uh, my 41 plus years of life. So that's interesting. And then we factor in the war in Ukraine, which is what, like 70% of the world's food supply or 40 or whatever, 40%, I believe. Uh, the Netherlands, which is like a 70% or something crazy, um, you know, and all the shutdowns there, what's going on or what has been going on in Sri Lanka. And then, of course, we look at uh, the Italian prime minister, soon to be prime minister, who is being told or, or, or excuse me, who's being stated as a Nazi because she believes in the family and tradition and not being defined by corporations and governments. Uh, yes. Yes. So. Back to Nord Stream. Seems like it might be a false flag to get this uh, this World War Three thing going on. And we're in the midst of that happening. I've never really truly believed that that would happen. But perhaps World War Three, and I've stated this before, is uh, the revolution of the people versus the elites. Right? That that's the civil war. That's the civil war brewing in the United States. There is a revolution of uh, internal means. It's been going on for a long time. Uh, you know, uh, Major General Smedley Butler exposed this back in the 1930s or 40s. When, when was that? Or 50s, whenever it was. Uh, of course, you can read his book, War is a Racket, where he talks about basically doing all these things for corporatists. Um, you can read books. Uh, um, oh, I think it's over here somewhere. Well, wherever it's at, uh, maybe it's upstairs. Um, FDR's uh, uh, son-in-law wrote a book about uh, his misguided father-in-law or something like that. I can't remember the title of it. Uh, Woodrow Wilson wrote in his memoirs that he was duped by uh, certain powerful influencers, banksters, whatnot. Of course, we all know about the monster from Jekyll Island. So, folks... I'm not really here to convince anybody. It just I'm just laying out the facts. Uh, this stuff's been going on for a long time. We're at a prep precipice. Um, Nord Stream has been officially declared a sabotage act. I doubt it was Russia. It doesn't make much sense. Um, most likely the U.S., given that Biden said, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll shut it down. Oh, yeah, we'll shut it down. You know, and um, it's all moving forward into an escalation. The most scary part about all of this is, is the coming demographic collapse and su complete supply chain breakdown. Now, the Chinese seem to be in a bad position, but they also have a lot of control and economic control and a lot of things that they've bought up all over the world. So it's hard to say, but right now what we're seeing the rise of Russia. We're seeing the rise of the Russian state backed by Europe and backed by America, despite all of the rhetoric right now. And what we're going to eventually see is if there is actual war, you're going to see that uh, we're going to continue on this climate change nonsense, right? And um, we're going to move all of our monies and all of the, the energies to the military, just like we did in World War II. And 
that will happen and then Americans here at home will start to suffer. Europeans will start to suffer. I mean, they already are as they are entering winter and have very little energy. Um, I've been talking about this stuff, maybe not this specific for like two years or more, but this is the stuff that they're planning. It's coming down the pipe, guys. You need to be prepared. You know, if you don't have everything you think you need to survive, look guys, have the proper things that are going to help you out, the proper tools, maybe like a saw and an ax so you can cut some wood and burn it, that kind of stuff, right? Think about commodities. Don't worry about getting rich on your cryptos or all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, the central banks are going to be taking that over here quite soon by 2030, I'm pretty sure, during this uh, period of a great reset. But Keep in mind that, uh, you know, the Reichstag was a, a false flag for the Nazi Germans, um, or reportedly one, uh, and that uh, the Gulf of Tonkin never happened. And this is quite common when entering new wars. And by the way, we've been at a proxy war in the first place. Um, but hey, I'll also tell you, it's all fake. Not, not that people aren't dying and people aren't being bombed, but uh, that is who is in control and the people behind the scenes. And uh, well, I think, I think Ozzy Osbourne worded it best about, uh, you know, in his song War Pigs about the uh, generals and their masses, right? And that the, the rich always send the poor to die. But hey guys, that's all I have for today. This has been All Minus One. My name is Bill and I wish you all well.